Hey guys, sorry that I got on this little video a bit late because of like <laughs> I assume people have been waiting since it's been the most like comment on the last sound video that I did. Anyways, I, I was saying if I should update the video because like um, stuff has changed. Maybe some people didn't get what I was talking about. Um, so we'll try to clear this up right now. I mean, I'm I'm gonna try to be a little more clear. And hopefully I will. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm, I I thought it was clear on the last video. But I'm basically going to be doing pretty much all the same stuff again. Except this time, we, um, by updated, I pretty much meant that you have the option to... Give me a sec. The other option would be, um, to use super... I still can't say it. Sonid... I don't know if that's an anagram or if that's a word, but there's that, and it basically, it's it's pretty much the same thing as um that that s word san. I'm just gonna call it sa, sa. I'm just um it's pretty much the same thing as as this program to where you would put in your group IDs right here, your collection, your wave, which um if you, if you still don't have any idea what those are or what numbers to put in there. Um, I will actually make this clear and easier for you guys and include this little thing in the description. Um, you know, right here it would say, you got your group IDs right here, you got your collection IDs, and your wave, you know, would depend on, like, the groups and, um, what, what wave number they're on, like, if it's the, like, I'll show you, I'll show you in a bit so far right now. Um, but by the way, you don't want these two programs together, because it's just not gonna work, so, I learned that the hard way, so. Just a heads up right there. So let me just open the file right here. I'm just gonna open this one up because it should work. Let's see what I got. Okay, so yeah, like I'm not sure, but like there, there's this collection number. But as you see, let's see, like eight one three, like um two two C dech. Um, this should, this should pretty much work for this. I mean, I can try. It should work, but if not, I mean, you still have the, the, the group ID and the collection ID of what you want to replace, so. If, I mean, I haven't, I haven't tested it out yet, but it should work. I'm 88% sure that it will work. If you if if you use that and if not just use the collection ID that it gives you here that's highlighted but you wanna you know that's the group that you wanna do and I think this is um voices no that's sound effects okay so the second group of every character should be voices so let me check yeah so you so you would find your voices you'll find your waves that's the first wave except this is the f yeah this is the first wave that's your zero wave. Yeah, I mean the groups are still right, but I don't, I don't, I don't know the collection ideas. Something different. Just I guess try that, or try this if you have issues. Like I said, I'll, I'll still include it in the description, even though this may seem meaningless now. But <laughs> I'll still include it anyway. Um, so let me just give you an example. Let me um go to Brawl Vault. Do it the new super way. Um, let's see. What do I wanna? Let me, let me just try something. Let's just do. I don't know who Fantius is. Let's do. No, 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 no. Let's actually do an announcer call. We gotta do. We we gotta show both of them off. Oh, cool! You can actually listen. Knuckles the Echidna. Oh, cool. Okay, so hold on. This is this is. This is where I was gonna try on. <laughs> Okay, so let's download this, and I'll go back to... Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, so we have our wave. And so all we gotta do is, um... Let's see. Who's wait? Who Who is who is that over? That would have been over anybody, really. So we should probably put it over Jigglypuff, actually. Um, let's see. You would scroll down, you would see something that says... Keep scrolling, you would see something that says, um, sh hold, hold on, in the readme there's a, 
there's something that has all the announcer stuff, and it's, yeah, it's, it's called Care Call, whatever. I'm not seeing it, though. It should be here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so, this has pretty much all the... Okay, so as you see, that's pretty much all the announcer calls, the Kara narration file section anyways. So let's see, that's group ID, that's the collection, that's the wave, that's number 35. So what we're going to do, we're going to, we can insert it, so let's go ahead and do it. It's a wave after all. You would insert your wave, that you would download, open, and you would insert. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to have these two open. Now you would insert. And I'll get back to once I think I may have um, messed it up because the other program was up, so I'll be right back. Okay, for some reason, obviously, um, it's not working because it's saying I'm missing some sound convert um, file, which I do not have, which is a bit unfortunate if you're trying to um, put in WAV files. But if you're having issues, you can still always go back to the quote-unquote quote older one, which, of course, this will be in the description also. So, I mean, I, to be honest, I use, I typically use this way anyways, so. You could use this to, like, to, like, hear your sound effects anyway, so. Let's do it the long way. Let's see. Let me go back to my readme so I can show you how I do it anyways. When I'm inserting character calls, let's see. Jigglypuffs would be, actually, no, hold on. The group ID would be DF. And, let's see, the collection ID would be. 31 F and don't worry about capitalizing it already does it for you so all I gotta do is type in the letter and uh, let's see the wave was 35 according to um what the supersonic is told me so now I would find mine let's see where was it though where was it where was it where was it Oh, there you are. So I put that in. And that did that. So let's go ahead and check out what happened on the Super Sonic side and see what if we did it. Alright, sweet. So it actually works. So like I said, you just, um, let's see. You would put in your collection ID, your group ID, and the wave ID. So that's really cool. That's really cool sounding too. Okay, so we're gonna try out for the e easier ones now. Which let's try to. Well, since we don't gotta worry about wave conversions, um, let's go ahead and get a signed file. Um, let's look for one. Oops. And um, hex files, as far as I know, are pretty obsolete. Everybody just um goes over and converts it to signed is files but I mean <laughs> they're pretty much just the same unless they're like hex packets or have all those jum jumbled um, wave um, files which um, you could individually piece you just you just need the group ID the collection ID and the individual wave ID so I guess in the readme's if they tell you what to do you should do that so um, hold on my thing's not working Let's see, let's uh let's try zero Japanese. We'll definitely see if we get something. Alright, so we got the sanid file. Sanid. I don't even know. Let's see. You would press this to search for your file. Drag this into here that you just downloaded. I would open it and now I'm going to insert. It already automatically inserts for you. So it's just refreshing the sound bank. 
not responding, but it should come up. There we go. Now let me go to Link. Second for voices. And as you see, and it works. So um, that's pretty cool. So lastly, I mean, all that's left is pretty much hex hacking. Um, so um, let's see. The most popular one would be um, Naruto, I think. So let me look that up. There's a hex file for Naruto. Let me um, look that up. Let me look it up. Let me look it up. Let me look it. Up. Yeah, see, there's a hex packet. That's what I thought it was. Huh, it says sounded yeah, because they want you to use that file. So I'm I'm sure I've have helped somebody with this. Um, you would actually this is this is what you would do if if anybody's had trouble with this. By the way, you're gonna want to use that fit pack just to replace the fit Ike, the first one, um, not the motion, the first one. You would um put that in Wii Scrub if you're playing this off the ISO on your Dolphin emulator, anyways. Um, let's see. What you would do, you would drag this file onto here, which I think I already have. Um, no, I have it. You would, uh, what did I do? <laughs> you would drag it on here. S notice that says file. Yes, I have already done it. Okay, so where is it? Oh. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. This is a little tricky. I don't know why they didn't fix this. This is a little tricky. What you would do is, um, let's see, what's it called? Z zero something. Yeah, you're going to want to put that um, in hex. So like I said, that's the number two one. You're going to want to re rename it. Well, then again, we do want to keep that because then it's going to override it. You're going to want to put dot hex to make it into a hex file, force it to make it a hex file. And it's already a hex file. So now all you really got to do is just... Let's see, where is it, where is it, where is it? It should show up now. It's not showing up. Oh, this one doesn't accept hex files. Well, guys, I'll just show it off to them. This is <laughs> this is probably the reason I um do it on the other one. So let me open up the older Sonid Diz folder, whatever. Anyway, this one is pretty straightforward. I mean, this is probably why I use this one more frequently because I don't know it's more reliable. But like I said, there is there is another option. Just I don't know. I just usually use this one. Anyway, so wave ID. All you gotta need to know is your collection group. So which where's my ID thingy? Let's see. For Naruto, it's gonna no. For Ike, is it gonna be? Let me let me scroll to Ike. There's Ike. Um, twenty seven. Uh, just to make sure, though, it, it is that first column is group, right? Okay, yes, it is 27. I don't want to drink myself. 27. Click the insert hex packet. You would search for your hex packet. That's the that's the Naruto one. And that's really it. So let me go back to Super Sonid is Sonid is Sonid, and uh, show you that it worked. Ike has a lot of. Um, Suffix, he doesn't talk a lot, so it's probably near the bottom. I'm in the right column, aren't I? Should be getting closer. I don't doubt myself. I know I did it. Come on. What's going on? Oh, it's probably in the first fry. That's all probably. Oh, yeah, this is probably all. Yeah, see? I was just. Uh, uh, I was just in the wrong one. So, for the Naruto hex hack, which if you're doing it over Ike, you're gonna wanna replace that. Hold on, let me just give you a quick example. So, I don't confuse anybody. I mean, for, the, for this specifically, you're gonna wanna do this. Just um, go to your fighter, go to do 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 do. Where's Ike? Where's Ike? Where is Ike? Do I like Ike? I mean, <laughs> no. Um, yeah, you would just replace, put that in. I already I've already done it though, but you would just press open and bam. That's really all there's to it. 
this is just for that specific cat. Most hex just basically just you insert the the hex and then you have to give it its group ID and through the sonnet is twelve file, which if you're gonna do that, you're gonna wanna do it with the older one, not the super because the super doesn't work with hex. I just found that out. That's really neat. I should probably fix that in an update. Anyways guys. I mean I've shown you hex. I've shown you sonnet. I've shown you announcer. So that's basically it. If you're gonna be hacking, if you're gonna be mod hacking, um, voice hacking, suffix hacking, uh, your brawl is so. Um, I'm just um, I'm I'm not exactly a Wii expert hacking. I mean, I'm sure I'm, I've said this multiple times, but that's all I wanted to say. So hopefully I cleared up some stuff. If you have any more questions, I mean, it's just as simple as that. You just insert your um. Make sure that you insert your uh, sound, um, Smash Bros. sound in here. Which um, I'm just gonna do that real quick, just to show you. It was mine was. Let me find it real quick. I'm just I'm just trying to make this clear as possible. What was the most recent one? This was the most recent one because this one is not. Yeah. So we just insert it. Okay, now this is a problem I've been getting. And a lot of people that you've been getting. Want to know how to solve this? There are three ways actually. It's a good thing this came up, anyways. Um, I've been I've been meaning to get this. Okay, so you see this, right? Okay, it's because your data size is like bigger than the um, what the initial disk was. I'm 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 just guessing, but I'm pretty sure it's a good guess. So what you would need to do is replace it with um, just a. It sounds crazy. I mean, I figured this out by myself. Um, you would need to use a new text document. Oops, you shouldn't be. Yeah, see, just, just, just make one new. Don't write anything. Just one that's zero bytes. Just replace it, and look at that data size file drop. It's like seventy nine to like seventy eight. Okay, so now you would go back, go to sound, replace your thing. Let's see. Or where was that file that I had? You're in the S's, aren't you? There you are. Let's see, you would go back to your BRSAR file. And now it works. So if people have been having the issue, that's that's how you do it. And if that doesn't work actually, you scroll up and there's a dummy dat one and a dummy dat two. You would do the same thing to those. I found that out by my friend uh, Kirby. He's not known as Kirby, he's <laughs> more known as a uh, I'm sorry if I butcher your name, but I can't think of it at the moment. It's Derpy Boy. Uh, <laughs> Cookie Boy. I don't know. <laughs> I, forgot the, I forgot the name. Anyways, he actually um, pointed, pointed out to me, but sadly he doesn't do Brawl Hacks anymore, but he um, pointed out to me while he was still in it. But that was like a while long ago, probably er earlier this year. Anyway, guys, that's, that's pretty much it for modding ISOs. Don't come to me if you want help for your week, because I'm not, I'm not an expert. But maybe if you kind of use your head and kind of do what I said, maybe you can find some way to use this into your modding your Wii somehow, but don't come to me. Anyway guys, if you want to have fun doing dolphin games, hacking your Brawl ISO, go ahead and do it. As long as you win the game, you know. We're doing this legally.